Hi everyone, I'm Elise Mayfield and this is Sweets with Elise. Hi everyone and welcome back to Sweets with Elise. I'm so glad that you are here. It is August, which I know means for a lot of you that it is back to school time. So today we are gonna make breakfast strudel, which is a wonderful back to school breakfast treat for you, your kids, or anybody else that's going back to school. So this is an easy way to make a really simple and delicious, delectable breakfast treat. So we're gonna start with some frozen puff pastry. Here's a little tip about frozen puff pastry, which is our main ingredient that we're using. You'll wanna thaw this out overnight before you start baking, but you don't wanna have it just sit in the fridge for too long, so make sure that you don't thaw it out too quickly. Now, the other great thing about our puff pastry is that it comes in this little trifold, and we're gonna be able to actually use these creases to our advantage. So, I've found that it helps to make sure that your board is floured just a little bit. Puff pastry is a laminated dough, and this is actually a French technique that's been around since 1600s. In fact, it was the idea of a famous French painter from 1612, um, Claude Lorraine, who was a famous landscape artist, but he actually came up with the technique to create puff pastry when he was just a baking apprentice. So I have cut my puff pastry into three sections now, just using the two creases as my guide. And now I'm gonna go one way across the other way. They don't have to be perfectly even. As you can see, I'm terrible at geometry. It's gonna be fine. All right, so now we've got six little rectangles, and I'm gonna show you how to make this breakfast strudel two different ways. You can do a savory or you can do a sweet. So let's start with our savory. We're gonna do a classic bacon, egg, and cheese. So I've just got two scrambled eggs here. One of the things I'm gonna do is kind of mash up my scrambled eggs and make them as small as possible. We're just gonna go right in the middle of our beautiful puff pastry. I'm gonna go ahead and do that middle one. This is also an opportunity if you, um, you know, there's a lot of pre-cooked breakfast meats that you can buy. This would be a great opportunity to use those. In fact, I am using bacon bits, real bacon bits as our bacon here. So I didn't even have to bust out the frying pan for this recipe. I mean, I did have to saute the eggs. All right, and finally, we'll do a little bit of cheddar cheese. Or a lot of bit of cheddar cheese, up to you. All right, now, at this point, if you hadn't already seasoned your eggs, you'll wanna do a little salt and pepper. Just remember your seasoning, always important. All right, I've got a little egg wash, and I'm gonna use this egg wash on the edges of my puff pastry, just on the edges to help it seal. Now, in the meantime, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So these do bake at a high temp, but they don't take very long, which means these would be something you could maybe do on a, on a morning if you didn't have too busy of a morning but these would also be great for a weekend when you maybe have a little bit of extra time. Okay, so now I'm just taking my other rectangles, and I know I didn't cut mine exactly the same, so I'm gonna stretch out my top layer so that it meets all the edges, and I'm also gonna try to eliminate as much air in the, the pocket with the filling, so you wanna try to make sure that everything is in there. So this is going to make three little breakfast strudels. Since you've got your box is gonna have two sheets of puff pastry, you can make a six total breakfast strudel. And I'm just using the tines of this fork to seal my little pocket of breakfast goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these over here to my pan. Uh, 
Okay. Last step for our savory guys, we're gonna go ahead and give these a little bit of an egg wash. This is just going to help make sure that these end up with a beautiful golden brown color on top. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes. And while these are baking, we'll make our sweet breakfast strudel. I know some people would much rather have a sweet breakfast pastry. So I've got my other sheet of puff pastry and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with our savory and cut this into six rectangles. All right, second time's a charm. Those are a lot more symmetrical. <laughs> okay, so I've got my six rectangles and we're gonna use some strawberry cream cheese. And then we're also gonna use a mixed berry jam. Now I like a jam for this because it's a little bit thicker than a jelly, which is gonna give you a little bit more control and help it make sure that it doesn't come out of the pastry while it's, while it's baking. So you're gonna end up using just a couple tablespoons of strawberry cream cheese. If you're not a fan of strawberry, you can use plain, whatever you want. The world's your oyster. Take your choice. You'll wanna make sure that you leave yourself a little bit of a border here. So give, make sure that you don't get the cream cheese all the way to the edge. Okay, and for our jam, I'm using a mixed fruit preserve. Just gonna dollop a little bit of it right here in the center. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with our savory. We're gonna go ahead and egg wash the edges of our rectangles and then put them together. Okay, and I'm gonna use my fork once again to seal these off. And our final step is to egg wash the tops to make sure that they turn out nice and golden brown. Okay, and into the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. It's almost breakfast time. I know you're excited, I'm excited. So these have come out of the oven. I highly recommend that you wait at least 10 minutes before you dig in, because I don't want you to burn yourself. Also, there's one final step on these sweet breakfast strudel. I've got a really simple little frosting. This is just powdered sugar and milk. There's not really a um, necessarily measurements. You kind of just get it to the consistency that you like. And I'm just gonna drizzle this on with a spoon. Just like that. And that's it. That's all the recipe. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. Thank you for joining me. If you did, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how you liked the recipe. And we'll see you around in the next episode of Sweets with Elise.